How to lay floor tiles on a patio If you lay tiles on your patio, it will extend your home out into the center of your garden. You will need exterior tiles, tiling edges, adhesive mortar for exterior tiles, grouting mortar, silicon mastic, spacers, and sawdust. You will need a heavy duty vacuum cleaner, a long mason's ruler, a pencil, a mason's set square, a bucket, a drill with a mixer, a tray, a trowel, a knot spatula, a tiler's float, and a tiler's mallet, a spirit level, a cutter, an electric tile cutter, a tile marker, and parrot tile nippet, an extruder gun a long rubber squeegee mop, a sponge and some cloths. Make sure you wear safety goggles, protective gloves and knee pads. Start by checking that your terrace has adequate rainwater drainage facilities. Check the slope by putting a spirit level on a long mason's ruler. A gradient of 1 cm per meter is enough. In the absence of a slope, before you start work, you will have to create a screed which slopes from the house to the garden. The ground should be flat, stable and clean. Clean thoroughly with a vacuum cleaner. If the weather is warm, sprinkle water over it. If your paving stones have been flooded recently, wait at least a month before laying the tiling. In the middle of the patio, draw a line at right angles to the wall of the house from one end of the patio to the other. Working from the outside edge, lay a complete row of tiles and spaces to create the joints along this line. The edges to be cut should be placed against the wall. Align your ruler with the last whole tile and draw a line at right angles to the first. You will place your first tile at the intersection of these two lines. Arrange the tiles so you only have to cut a tile on one side. You should mix the packets of tiles to blend in any possible variations of shade. Prepare the adhesive mortar by mixing the powder into the water according to the manufacturer's instructions. Spread the adhesive mortar with the trowel right up to the line, over a slightly larger area than the width of the first row of tiles. For tiles that are less than 25 cm square, use a 6 or 8 mm notch spatula. Score the adhesive to get the right degree of thickness. If your tiles are more than 30 cm square, spread adhesive on the back of the tiles too. Now you're ready to lay your first tile. Place it exactly at the intersection of the two guidelines you drew. Secure the tile in the adhesive by tapping gently with the mallet. It will be held firmly in place immediately. Do the same thing with the second tile. Place a spacer on each corner of the tile and complete the first row of tiles, tapping gently on each with the mallet. Once the first row is laid, the work becomes easier and you can spread adhesive over a bigger area. When you have laid two or three rows, use the float. Continue laying the tiles, checking regularly that they are truly level by placing the mason's ruler on top. Place a tile squarely on top of a tile in the last row. Then place another tile on top, leaving a one centimeter gap from the wall and draw a line on the top tile. Place your tile on the tile cutter so that the line you drew lies exactly under its cutting wheel. Place the lever at the upper side of the tile and push, holding it down evenly until you reach the end of the tile. The electric tile cutter makes straight cuts, but can also make angled cuts in the middle of the tile. Mark the cut with a soft pencil 
and mark out the area to be removed using the tile marker. Cut out the shape with parrot tile nippers. To ensure the edge between the wall and the patio is watertight, spread silicon sealant along the last row of tiles. Edging tiles will help you keep the patio clean when flashing water from the patio. Apply adhesive on the back and put them in place, aligning the joints perfectly with those of the tiles. Leave to dry for 24 hours and then prepare your grouting mortar. Spread very creamy grout over an area of 4 to 5 square meters. Then spread immediately using the rubber squeegee. Scrape off the surplus, sweeping the squeegee diagonally over the joints to avoid damaging the grouting and remove any surplus. Repeat the operation. If you see a white film appearing after 15 to 20 minutes, rub over the tiles with a dry cloth in a circular motion. Then for perfectly smooth joints, wipe with a damp sponge. After two or three hours, sprinkle sawdust and then wipe with a damp sponge to finish cleaning the tiles. An easy to maintain patio that allows you to enjoy your garden even more.